Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama from Scratch. Today I am going to be sharing with you five high-end Dollar Tree DIYs that look absolutely beautiful. They are not cheap or cheesy looking. We are actually doing decor dupes for Pottery Barn, Kirkland's, and McGee & Co. And you all are going to like how easy and affordable these projects are and you guys are going to want to recreate these, I promise. So if you're excited for today's DIYs, give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let's go ahead and get started. So I started with a wood canvas and I already had one stained so next I moved on to the wooden dowels and all I'm doing here is taking these smaller wooden dowels and placing them um, kind of at an angle on my canvas so I can mark them with my pencil where I need to cut them. This DIY and all of the DIYs are actually really simple so I know you guys will be able to recreate these. Then I just took my wire cutters and started cutting the dowels. You'll want to make sure you cover the end because otherwise it will fly across the room and possibly hit something. So be careful with that. Then I just took some hot glue and placed a little dab on each opposite corner and then just glued down those wooden dowels and I just repeated that process for the entire canvas. So my canvas frame actually has a brown paint on it and then the next thing I did was take some ribbon from Dollar Tree and glue that all the way around. I just forgot to hit the record button. So this is the way it turned out and I think it looks really similar to the Kirkland's decor. They wanted about $120 for the set and so I think this is a great dupe and you can of course adjust the size as you need to. For the next project, here are the supplies you'll be needing. I'm using these leftover signs from Valentine's Day. I'm using what I have on hand and I'm trying to use up my supplies because I have not gone to the store in two months and it feels actually really good to use a lot of supplies I have. So I took these and I used this um, wooden round that I had and I just centered it and I have about three fourths of an inch on each side of the wooden round. So I placed that up and I went ahead and placed it about an inch down from the top. And then you're going to repeat that on the opposite one. So you're going to have almost like a complete circle. It's just going to cave in a little bit, which is totally fine for the look we're going for. So now that you have that, then I went ahead and just took my knife and cut down the center. And I will say it took a little bit of scoring to get this to work. So if you have an actual saw, I would recommend using that. But I was trying not to get mine out. So, <laughs> you know, working with what we got here. And once I had that pretty much shaved down, I just sanded down the edges a little bit. And then I started um, tracing around on my pencil mark here with this and it just took forever. So I went outside and used my jigsaw and cut my rounds. And this is the way they turned out. Not exactly perfect, but pretty darn close. So I'm just sanding them down and get a smoother finish here. And you can see that one of the ends popped off. Um, but it's just okay. I'm going to glue it back on. It's actually underneath my table at the moment. So one part of the sign had um, the paper on it. The other part did not. So you want to try to remove as much of that as you possibly can. So it's a nice smooth finish. So once I had that together, then I went ahead and hot glued the two ends together on each side and then um, basically just overlapped it and added lots of glue. You can use E6000 for this. Um, or if you have like a super glue gel that would work well then I placed some more hot glue and then glued on the top piece and then uh, let that dry for a moment and then I ended up standing that up and then gluing on our last piece here on the edge. So we got a nice little sculpture here. I took this Rust-Oleum textured paint to um, try to hide some of the paper marks on there that I could not get off um, and gave it more of a rustic look. Then I took the metallic gold paint and painted this all the way around. I love that color paint. I let that dry and you can see how it's a little bit rough looking which is just fine with me. Actually I think it feels like it adds a little bit more character to the piece. 
and then I just took the elephant color in Waverly chalk paint and just kind of added a little bit of texture on there because on McGee & Co's site it looks like it's an aged brass sculpture. I thought this was a great dupe for a fraction of the cost, especially reusing some of the supplies that I had. This is the way it looks up close. Pretty darn good, especially since I just used the supplies I had on hand. For the next project, I actually shared with you in this a uh, couple videos back. I'm using this candy dish and these half rounds I picked up off of Amazon and I've actually used them for a couple different projects. I'll leave that video linked down below if you haven't seen it yet. I basically hot glued the half rounds on. I thought about super gluing them on just to add a little extra hold. You can do whatever works for you and whatever you happen to have on hand. The DIY that I'm actually duping here um, is a little bit more rounded, but I didn't have a rounded dish, so keep that in mind. Look through your stash and see what you have. You don't have to have this exact dish for this. I just went ahead and worked myself all the way around the dish, and then you're going to stop here for this, for this project, but I will say if you decide to add the Waverly chalk paint to this, um, it actually adds a little bit of character and um, texture to the dish once we paint it gold. So I would actually recommend doing this because you're going to see some of those swirls and it makes it look like an older dish and it just looks really pretty. But if you don't have it, it's okay. Just skip this step and go straight to spray painting it gold with that metallic gold paint that we used in the last project. That's what I went ahead and did and I just went all around it evenly giving it a nice fresh coat. I thought it looked really good just like this to be honest with you, but I'm trying to get that look that McGee & Co has for their brash dish. So I the elephant color and just lightly dabbing it on to the half rounds here. I'm trying to give it an aged brass look and it adds a little bit of you know character to it and depth. I like it all gold. I think this piece would look really pretty all black too. But overall, I think it's a great dupe for a fraction of the cost. Theirs is a little bit bigger, obviously, our actual brass bowl, but ours is pretty good looking too. For this next DIY, this is actually not a dupe, but I love the way this project came out. It was super easy. I got one of these wind twisters. They have a couple different shapes at Dollar Tree, and I just took a wooden dowel and glued that to it, and then to help secure it, I took the piece of fishing string that was on there, whatever it was, and wrapped that through the different uh, hoops and just hot glued that on for extra strength and then I cut off that little round once I was done with it and then I let that dry for a quick second then I took the bottom and just cut that down and rounded it a little bit and then they have these gold feathers at Dollar Tree um, and I had the leftover base so I added some E6000 to it because it was metal and then I added some hot glue for some instant hold and I let that stay there I actually held it for a couple minutes and then I took it outside and spray painted it black and this is the way it turned out and I think it's a really cool art piece to add to a bookshelf and stuff and it only cost me a dollar. I really like these type of projects. Super simple and classy. So for the next project, these are the supplies you will need and I'm using this um, woven basket. Dollar Tree carries these in a few different colors and so I'm just going to snip off the very bottom of it leaving that rim all the way around the edge um, and once you get that off you can leave it black or you can paint it brown, it's completely up to you. I took this leftover sign that I had and I needed to shorten it because it was a little bit large for the basket. So I uh, cut it down, sanded it, and then I'm gonna um, just cover it in black paint. You can spray paint this, um, but I decided just to paint it because it was a little bit quicker. And then I painted a wooden dowel that was left over from another project and painted that black and then I just got rid of a little notch on the bottom of the basket, cut that out, and I hot glued a base on there. You wanna make sure you go up about an inch too, that way it helps to um, hold the basket, and then I hot glued that down to the bottom with some E6000. And this is the way this dupe came out. I think it turned out absolutely fantastic. Now theirs is brown, I don't have any brown paint, so I worked with what I had, but for a dollar, I think it's an awesome dupe. 
I don't know about you, but I think all of our high-end Dollar Tree DIY dupes turned out absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to hopefully see some that you guys will be able to recreate as well to decorate your home on a budget. If you guys happen to miss my last few videos, they'll be here on the screen. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our family. I really love to just be able to inspire and motivate here on my channel. With that, I hope you all have an amazing day. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one.